If you have a problem finding these big subprimal cuts of meat that I go ahead and break down on this channel, well, I have the place for you. It is a treasure trove of big cuts of beef. I mean, they don't have a meat section, they have a meat room. I am home. In this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of this magical place. And as a bonus, if you stay to the end, I'm gonna show you this cut that I can only consistently get from this place. And it's, it's cheap, it's flavorful, and it's delicious, and I can't wait to share it with you. Let's go head to the tour. So this is the Chef's Store. Now, it is owned by a company called U.S. Foods. They are a big food distributor. Most of the restaurants and hotels that you frequent have probably gotten food at one point in time from U.S. Foods. The Chef's Store is a open to the public part of their distribution channel. So you can walk in there, no membership, nothing required. You just walk in the door and you are, can buy anything off the shelves. They have commercial size packages of everything from spices to mayonnaise to limes and lemons and you know everything you can think of that a restaurant might need. But for us, we're gonna focus on the meat room. So it is a huge room with all, everything you can think of as far as beef, pork, chicken, they have everything. We're gonna go deep into the room and I'm gonna show you all the cuts that I buy on a regular basis to, to show you how to break these things down. All right, let's kick this off with one of my favorite subprimal cuts, the chuck roll. I have several videos on my channel where I show you how to break this thing down. You can find a Denver steak, the chuck eye, chuck roast. It's a great economical and versatile cut. Next is the Terrace Major. This is a hard to find cut that kind of looks like a little beef tenderloin. It comes from the Chuck shoulder clod, which is way cheaper than the tenderloin. It's a small piece of meat and the chef store sells them in big packages. There are probably 13 to 15 Terrace Majors in this one pack. It's one of my favorite cuts. And later in the video, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna break it out of the package and show you how to cook the, I'm gonna break it out of the package and show you the best way to cook one. Also, I love to get the peeled knuckles. Now, th this comes from the round primal cut, and it's a great addition to your ground beef. I find that I have a lot of extra fat trimmings, and this can lean out my ground beef. Uh, next, the Chef Store is a great place to buy briskets, to throw on the smoker. You can make corned beef with them. You can make pastrami. Man, um, it's just, they always have a great price, and they also have prime briskets also. So you should go definitely pick one of these up. I love to find top sirloins here at the Chef Store. So... Let's see, um, you can get great sirloin steaks from this, but what we really want is the picanha, the sirloin cap. It doesn't take very much, um, it's not very hard to take the sirloin cap off and then you throw those, those beautiful picanha steaks over the open fire, they're awesome. Next, you know, 80-20 ground beef. This is the perfect ratio for a juicy hamburger. So no trip to the chef store is complete without a 10 pound chub of this ground beef. And yes, Chub is the technical term for to refer to this packaging. I know it sounds weird, but that's true. It's a little cold in there, so we are now gonna go to the spice aisle, but don't worry, I gotta, I gotta come back to the fridge after we look at some of the spices they have. All right, so we have a restaurant grind black pepper. So for all you Texas barbecue fans, this is what you need. It is slightly coarser than what you get from powdered ground black pepper, but it provides coverage for the, your barbecue. I also love this coarse ground pepper for steaks, and it, it gives a little more peppery bite. But they have both of these at the chef store. Next, they have a bunch of pre-made spice blends that kind of mimic other spices you may have heard of. I wonder what the Chesapeake Bay, could that be Old Bay? You know, but it's a little cheaper and the tastes are really, really good. This is one of my favorites seasoning for steaks, Montreal steak seasoning. So I like to put it on all my steaks, but they also have their almost like Montreal steak seasoning. This steak seasoning is half the price of Montreal steak seasoning and it tastes almost identical. So give those a try, save some money. I got pickling spice. I use this for my corned beef and pastrami's. Um, it's already pre-made for the right kind of um, ratio of spices, so it's perfect. Now, sesame seeds, I threw this in there because the price is awesome, $4.69. You can't even get one of those little bottles at the grocery store for that price. So I, I had to show this one too. They have MSG. Now this is a big enough bottle that even Uncle Roger would be approved of this amount of MSG. 
or back to the meat room because we got still got stuff to talk about. Chuck short ribs. It is a barbecue lover's dream. Throw some of those on the smoker and tell me when it's time for dinner. Flank steaks are a staple at my house. I love flank steaks, nice and lean, um, easy to throw on the grill, and they got a big pack of them here at the chef store. I love them. Last but not least on our tour, we have the Royal Flush of steak cuts. We have whole tenderloins, we got whole strip loins, and we got whole ribeyes. You're ready to, just ready for you to take those, take them home, break them down, and your freezer is full of steaks for a long, long time. Wow, that was a lot of meat. Some of the things I didn't mention so far is the fact that they have great specials. So you can go online, you can go to their website and see what their, their weekly specials are. The other great hack is if you go there on a consistent basis, you're gonna find some things they put on sale. When those, uh, when those big cuts get uh, close to their sell-by date, they will put them on a deep discount. Now, we know from doing this that in that, if as long as it's vacuum sealed in that cryovac pack, it's gonna last at least 30 days over that sell-by date, even more probably. So it's important that you know that when you go into these stores and pick up the great deals. It will inspire you maybe to try something you haven't tried before, but look out for those meat deals. We are not done. I promise you I will show you this secret butcher's cut that I can find at the chef store consistently and it really can't find other grocery stores. I'm gonna show it to you now. So let's get to this cut of meat. This is the individual Terrace Major. It is a steak cut from the Chuck Subprimal Cut. So it's a little bit cheaper, but it's still super tender and super flavorful. Now this is one Terrace Major. Now it comes in a big package like this and then from the chef store and then each one, cause there's only two of these per cow. So it really is um, hard to find. And again, the chef store is where I've found them consistently. I'm gonna quick show you how to break this thing down. We're gonna sear it off and I'm gonna slice it and show you how it cooks up. We're gonna be using the six inch bony knife. Any bony knife you have will, will do. But again, we have the Butcher Wizard six inch bony knife available on Amazon, link in the description. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do breaking this thing down, kind of just cut these little tips off here. Basically, we're gonna get all this sinew off, uncovering this silver skin. So let's clean that off. I'm gonna take the back of my knife and just scrape it so I can just get see the silver skin clearly. This is the only thing we really have to do to break this thing down. So we're gonna cut in, under the silver skin, make a handle, put opposite pressure on the little handle. You're gonna angle your knife slightly upward and go ahead and slide it down and cutting the silver skin. Again, trying to cut a le the least amount of meat possible. We're gonna keep, we're gonna continue to do that. This is a great way to practice taking silver skin off on something that's cheaper than like a beef tenderloin. So this is a great practice for you to do. Again, we're just gonna look at it, clean it up, um, get all that silver skin off, and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. Here we go, there's another piece of silver skin here. You're gonna take it, we're gonna wiggle our knife underneath the silver skin, come out, make a handle, opposite pressure. Oops, mess up there. Opposite pressure, and then cut that silver skin off. Again, this is the only thing, really the butchery part, this is the only thing we really have to do, but you gotta do it to each one because that silver skin is not gonna be tasty. It's gonna be hard to chew, so there we go. And there we go, we got our whole Terrace Major, it only took a minute or two and you got your whole thing ready to go. Next, I'm gonna show you how to simply sear one off and cook it, it's the best way to do it. The Terrace Major is super flavorful because it comes from the chuck and it's a super tender piece. So as long as you don't overcook it, you're gonna be in good shape. So let's just take care of it. We're gonna quickly just hit it with some avocado oil, some salt, some pepper, you know the drill, typical steak or beef roast preparations here. We'll drop it in a super hot pan. Can you hear the sizzle? Oh wait, my mic went out. So here we go. Sorry about that, but there's your sounds. But we're just gonna cook it to a medium rare, let it rest for five minutes, and then be ready to slice it. And then we're gonna simply just slice it down the middle. And then if you notice, we're using the future Butcher Wizard 
prototype for the slicing knife. I know I'm coming, we're coming out with another knife. So be, stay on the lookout for that. It cuts just like butter. I'm gonna continue to cut against the grain and then we're gonna taste this thing. I cannot wait. I can smell it already. This is one of my favorite steak cuts. I love the Terrace Major. Again, the chef store, you can find them all the time. So that's, that's why we're doing this today. So tender, so flavorful. This is so good. Oh my goodness. If you want to learn more about the Terrace Major, go ahead and click this video right here. Man, thank you for coming on the tour. See you on the next one.